Hi, Edip Yüksel, uh, October 19, 2018. Uh, would like to talk about Cemal Kaşıkçı. Uh, his name, his last name really Kaşıkçı is a Turkish word somehow mispronounced in Arabic, even more mispronounced in English I cannot recognize. Kaşıkçı means the spoon maker or the spoon seller, the spoon maker. Most likely in his ancestors, among his ancestors, there is a Turkish guy. Anyway, Kashukci. Jamal, Jamal um, he disappeared in the 2nd October, about 17 days ago. He entered Saudi Arabian consulate in, in Istanbul, I believe. He, was it Istanbul or Ankara? Anyway, I forgot. Uh, it is a detail. Um, and uh, disappeared there. And Turkey claims they have evidences uh, to show that he was tortured and killed and uh, he was uh, maimed and uh, dismembered. But what I believe what will happen, Turkey I do believe use this as a blackmail or as a bluff if they don't have in their hands really video or audio cassettes, but they had some evidence, at least the pictures of the, fifth, uh, the video of 15 Saudis uh, coming uh, to Turkey and leaving. Uh, but if they don't have those incriminating evidences uh, that proving they killed inside the consulate, uh, that means they are bluffing, or if they have, it is blackmail. And um, knowing Tayyip Erdogan, he's a dictator and thief in a chief, and big thief in billions of dollars, he stole uh, poor people's money. He lives in the world's second biggest mansion, 1150 rooms. He's making another mansion, 300 rooms. He has collection of jets, 13 jets. Recently he got another jet, supposedly as a gift, from the Qatari thief in chief, the dictator from there. 400 million dollars worth of jet flying palace and he has incredible luxurious ostentatious lifestyle his wife just in once he went to uh, they went to belgium uh, from one of very expensive shops she shopped and afterwards reporters entered the shop and asked how much she paid for the bag she paid 51 dollars for a single bag that's how they are wasting, they are stealing people's money. In every, he is basically talking about God, abusing God's name, like Donald Trump, like all other crooks. Uh, waving flag in one hand, tickling people's nationalism, and waving <laughs> the holy book in another hand, people go crazy. And they turn idiots, and they can steal. Corruption. Uh, anyway, uh, what he will do, basically, he will absolve this guy, Tayyip Erdogan will absolve, but after deal negotiation, he will get billions of dollars from these thieves, dictators, murderers, and he's also a murderer and dictator in Turkey. Thousands of people are imprisoned in Turkey, reporters, and uh, many people are killed in Turkey. He killed many Kurdish people, many Turkish people. Incredible. They have no respect for human life. They have no respect for uh, people's plight. And many people are right now hungry in Turkey. Imagine the, the, uh, a person, working person is making about 300 maximum, about $500 a month. And while daily he's wasting millions of, do uh, millions of dollars just on his personal uh, show off. Anyway, let's listen to a little bit this. Oh. <laughs> this is Trump's guy. I, uh, I was not supposed to show you. I pushed the wrong one. Anyway. The president stands by Jim Forte for that 2017 assault, capping off a week where he refused to criticize another ally. Yep. Accused of attacking a journalist. A fascist, a dictator, a crook. A lying machine, unfortunately. He's very similar to these guys, very similar to Putin and Tayyip Erdogan, Netanyahu, Modi, all the same, corrupt, racist, 
Jared Kushner, who and is thieves. The Saudi, is urging the president to move slowly. Two sources tell CNN Kushner is warning his Nepotism. president against being pressured into a quick decision. There is no ambassador in Saudi Arabia, United States ambassador. Mike Pompeo, he briefed the president on his trip Shame. to Riyadh and Riyadh and then said this. Smile into these murderers. I told President Trump this morning that um, we Did ought to give them a few more days to complete that. Yeah. Uh, we too. Deal between Turkey and Saudi Arabia so that they will cover up and post reporting that hardline Republican lawmakers and commentators are mounting a whispering campaign against Khashoggi aimed at protecting the president. I don't care what is this guy's religious political view is. It's absolutely no issue. A human being, even as my enemy, if it's tortured and killed. That way, absolutely, it is the same. My reaction will be the same. Again, even the killer of my brother. I cannot tolerate that person being tortured. It is the worst thing, the worst thing can be done. Therefore, we should be outraged. The whole world. Anyway. Privately exchanged right-wing articles that highlight decades-old assertions about Khashoggi's connections to the Muslim Brotherhood and raise conspiracy theories about his work. I care less. He could be a terrorist. Still, civilized people, governments should not be torturing people. Otherwise, you are no different than those people you are calling them terrorists or barbarian. And unfortunately, these people who act like civilized, like Trump, like this dictator, like Tayyip Erdogan, behind the doors, they give orders to kill people, to torture, and to basically kill in mass. And wars, look, look at the states. States, governments are the biggest terrorist organization throughout history. They kill many, many, many more people than those little organizations called terrorist organizations. In fact, they give birth to terrorists because of the atrocities they commit. And terrorists use their weapons. Uh, therefore, we need to be uh, much more cautious to be carried away by government propaganda. According to a source who is familiar with the Turkish investigation, Mar Abdulaziz Mutreb, now a Saudi intelligence officer, was fully aware of the... All their job is lie, kill, steal. In Saudi intelligence. Killers, killers, the biggest killers, the biggest thieves. CNN has learned Turkish officials suspected Kuchikshi had been killed within hours of his disappearance. Turkish intelligence officials even raced to the Istanbul airport where a private Saudi plane was waiting to take off in an attempt to find out whether the journalist had been abducted. Overnight, Secretary of State Pompeo denied an ABC News report that Turkish officials played. His son also steals. He has now dozens of ships. His son-in-law has big corporations. He's an arms merchant. And now he's in government. He gives the most important minister to his son-in-law. They control everything. He's a dictator. An audio recording. A monopoly over the, basically, uh, media, controls everything, and spews all the time manufacturing lies like Trump. But Trump is checked and balanced by the institutions in the United States, by constitution, by courts, by people who are more agile, more awake, alert against the power of the government. But here in Turkey, majority of people are <laughs> from Ottoman times. They basically praise the government, um, not much individual freedoms. Uh, there's no such a culture. It's very few. Therefore, easily he can do people through propaganda. And he staged, in fact, a fake military coup by using his former ally. Ten years with Fethullah Gülen, they stole the resources of Turkey. 
They did all kind of corruption together and later they fought together with each other. And in order to make himself like a hero, he staged a stupid military coup. And showed him a transcript of Khashoggi's apparent murder. By the way, if you Arabs, you are listening, this guy does not care at all about Palestinians. He only used for consumption, for domestic consumption, Tayyip Erdogan. He is one of the biggest allies after Saudi Arabia with Israel. The Turkish and Israeli's relationship grew multifold during his reign, his uh, government, three times in trade, many times in military. Therefore, he can talk there, oh, Palestine and stuff, just the opposite. He can talk about angelism, down with America, but when comes here, <laughs> he fell prostrate in front of Trump and promised to purchase jets worth billions of dollars in order to see Trump for 15 minutes. These stooges, these so-called kings and dictators in their country, they act as if they control the world. This is their propaganda machine. People think, oh, they are the greatest leaders. But they don't know how <laughs> they are puppets. They have no worth, self-worth. Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin will not, meanwhile, participate in a high-profile investment anyway. in Saudi Arabia amid the growing controversy. The chief factor was the withdrawal of several of Mnuchin's European counterparts. Fox Business... That's enough. Um, Anyway, the, the world, unfortunately, is controlled by uh, global corporations. They control the democratic process, too, here, and uh, through here also control other countries. And uh, we need to save, uh, save democracy. Well, I said there is no democracy to be saved. We need to have democracy and uh, uh, fight against uh, these... Uh, Transnational, in fact, they are uh, corporations who are like octopus, they control the world. And they have no empathy, they are hungry for more. The more billions they have, they are not satisfied. And they care less about environment, they care less about human life. Uh, they can easily declare wars or create conflicts. Uh, therefore, we need... Uh, the citizen of the world, we need to transcend uh, um, religious, ethnic, and national borders that alienate us, that turns us enemy against each other. We cannot fight this global, corrupt, and cruel machine uh, without transcending the borders. Um, if you have time, please check, uh, listen uh, my talk at British Parliament this year. Um, that is very important in that I basically discuss how can we fight military-industrial complex and other noxious uh, big corporations. And also, if you want to understand about uh, the Muslims or Sunni and Shiite, uh, I advise you to check uh, my discussion at, um, not the, it was an interview at Rudaw, R-U-D-A-W uh, TV. Uh, it is at YouTube. You will check my name, Edip Yüksel, ISIS, Sunni. These are four words, Edip Yüksel, my name. And my English videos are marked with E in parentheses, capital letter E in parentheses after my name, Edip Yüksel. And they, there is also a playlist uh, in my YouTube channels. The Turkish ones outnumber right now the English ones, but I have more than 100 English videos and hopefully I will do more. Um, anyway, uh, we need to get involved with politics 
but unfortunately the United States both parties are in the pocket of uh, big corporations they have some little differences but unfortunately they serve uh, they serve them practically they serve their interest um, among them the, the only one I see genuine uh, recently is uh, Bernie Sanders uh, but they also uh, plotted against him. They didn't allow him to become even the candidate of the Democratic Party. Um, anyway, thank you very much. Hopefully that we'll meet again. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And also if you want, visit 19.org for articles, Amazon.com for my books. Peace.